Chillers, chillers, welcome back, welcome back. It's the Critic Corp. I'm Tope. I'm here with that low key review. You already know. Favorite show. Best thing to come out of Marvel so far. Uh, with this phase, I would say. Um, it's fucking great, man. Low key's fucking great. They're doing their thug dizzle. Um, you know. Last episode, they were fucking trying to get the branches back aligned and whatnot before it exploded. But, they came up short. Um, so everything went to shit, obviously. Um, fucking, this episode, it pretty much shows Loki, um... Going, you know, in between, he's back time slipping. He's back time slipping. And, you know, he, he still doesn't know what, you know, what to do in that fucking, in that scenario. He just knows that is is just sending him flopping around through time zones uncontrollably. And this man ends up fucking everywhere like every single fucking time zone he ends up in san francisco fucking uh 1962 fucking new york 2012 got them cleveland in 1994 or no cleveland 2022 fucking uh what was it Pas Pasadena, fucking 1994, and Ouroboros, Ouroboros is, uh, in fucking, ends up being in the 1994 Pasadena, uh, era, time zone that he fucking arrives to, and, um, he finally gets a moment of rest before he just time slips again uncontrollably and explains to him, you know, because they're all, all of fucking, you know, Mobius, um, goddamn or Ouroboros, fucking D-15 or whatever, they're all fucking in their own, you know, in their own, in their own variance time zone, living their lives, and he has to explain, you know, that this is not, this is not where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be in the TVA, but in reality, that's their own, that's their original time zone. Loki's just being, you know, selfish, and we uh. We pretty much uh, get that point across when him and Sylvie have a little, uh, you know, heart to heart one on one sesh. Cause Sylvie's the only one that uh, pretty much remembers the whole explosion within the timelines and all the, you know, with all the branches fucking, you know, erasing and whatnot. Um, and she tells him, like, you know, maybe this is how it's supposed to be, you know, this is, maybe they're, uh, you know, it's no, maybe it's no wrong in them going back to their, their lives and whatnot, and, you know, maybe he should feel the same, but he said, you know, he doesn't want to be alone, pretty much, he, he feels, you know, he has no true calling, and that's, that's, that's pretty much his, the TVA is pretty much his new, you know, home, in a sense, and, you know, she's like, well, maybe someone sounds a little bit selfish, because he, he tells her how she's selfish, because she doesn't want to help him and whatnot, because they're, because he's trying to get, um, what him and Ouroboros established is what they need in order to get back to the TVA, um, 
is everyone's aura, you know, temporal aura in one room. And uh, build a temp pad, which was funny as fuck. It took this man 19 months. <laughs> he was on the verge of losing his apartment and whatnot and shit like that. It was hilarious, bro. Ouroboros is great. He's the best day to come out of this show, man. Fucking besides Mobius, he's a clown too. But, um, yeah, they, they pretty much come to a conclusion that they need to, um, get everybody together, you know, get the crew back together, uh, and, and such. And, um, like I said, Sylvie doesn't want to help. She thinks, you know, maybe it's supposed to be this way type of deal. And she soon regrets that. Once, um, it's a scene where she, you know, goes into this, uh, this vinyl store and, you know, sits down and listens to a record and everything starts disintegrating in front of her eyes. And, you know, given that she has He Who Remains temp pad, um, she's not really affected by any of this shit, she can choose to go anywhere of her own personal will and be a okay. Um, but if there's no fucking time to go to, then she's shit out of luck, which was starting to happen, you know. And they uh, they originally Ouroboros and uh, Loki, you know, tried to figure out his time slipping and, you know, use it, you know, to his own personal fucking ability and get him to choose the right, you know, time zone to slip into. But given that everything, all the branches were pretty much erased and you were like on the verge of failing, um, the TVA was a place where time didn't really exist. So, how could he even go there if it's, it's no existent time frame? So, um, but, you know, Loki with his, uh, with his strong will and fucking perseverance, he figured out, he figured it out. I don't know how he figured it out. But he figured it out. He figured out that uh, it's not technically a when, a where, or a why. It's a who. And he's the who. <laughs> um, so he single-handedly... He single-handedly can rewrite the story. He can rewrite the past, the future, the present. You know... And make his own path. If he puts his mind to it. And that's really what. In the essence of what needs to be done. For him to be able to control the time slip. And get back to the TVA. Which is what he was trying to do this whole episode. That was the primary mission of this episode. Um... So he ends up figuring that shit out, you know, long story short, and gets back to, uh, get back, get back to the TVA, uh, right before, you know, the goddamn explosion, and it fucking ends, that was it, that was the fucking episode, bro, it's pissed as hell, like, they, they teasing us, man, and, is, is pissing me off because knowing that it's only one more episode left, like, come on now, what, they about to really cram all this, this whole big conclusion into one episode, or are they going to have a season three? I think they will have a season three, because this, this, this series as a whole is, you know, like I said, the best thing come out of Marvel in this phase, as far as in this phase, and it's doing outstanding numbers, everyone's loving it. Um, the only problem is fucking Kang, 
you know, John the John the Majors as Kang. They're they're uh, I heard they're like leading more towards uh Doom, Doctor Doom as the villain, which I'm kind of highly upset about, cause it's, 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 it's really not his fault, John the Majors' fault. He, you know, it's it's the writers. You know, they the way they portrayed him and introduced him was kind of shitty. They should have did a little bit better with that. Um, you know, I, I know the strike was going on and all that bullshit. And then him, you know, with the allegations and, uh, you know, him being involved with that one girl. Like, all the bullshit that went on. But come on, give, give, my, give my boy a chance, bro. They're like, they're, they're, they're fucking... They're fucking hauling him. They're hauling him. I'm gonna leave it at that. Like they're just hauling my moments. Um, but you know, hey, you live, you learn. Um, the fucking MCU, they they choose to do whatever they want, whenever they want, type of deal. They'll fucking get it together soon enough. They're slowly going to shit, but you know, in some aspects, they're they're like still being kind of strategically smart with their you know choosing. Um, so you know, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully next year could be a better run for him because this year is done. This year is done. Uh, Marvels, I'm not really even excited for like that. Uh, I don't even. I'm gonna go see it, you know, just for the shits and giggles. But it's like, yeah, yeah, you know, fuck. But uh, yeah, man, fucking one more episode of Loki, man. Big depression, especially over here, number one fan. So, uh, I hope, I hope this last episode fucking dives double deep, like, just goes fucking bonkers, like, this shit needs to feel like a movie. This whole, this whole, the whole series feels like a movie. It shit, it, it could have been a movie, this shit, this, the way this shit was, you know, uh, broken down, it could, it could have been a dog-ass movie, but, you know, hey, uh, you know, um, given that it was during, like, COVID, they had to find a way to still make their, uh, make their money, MCU money and shit, so they released it as a series, and all that, along with other shits, like Secret Invasion, that should have been a movie. I think it would have been uh, more. It would have been better presented as a movie, along with fucking WandaVision, you know, Moon Knight. But hey, who am I to say? That's their, you know, that's their fuck ups. So, uh,. We'll let, we'll let MCU fix that. But, uh, there you have it, guys. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop ranting on about MCU. Um, leave some comments. Like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking court. Um, I'll be back, uh, fucking tomorrow with Gen V. So, you already know. Uh, stay posted for that. And, as I always say, toodles.